Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Not Too Comic Book. This being a show, we're talking about TV shows that are adaptations of comic books. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about Mission, Yosakura Family, Season 1, Episode 9. Great episode. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. So we're picking up in the aftermath of Kuro Yuri's revelation to Tayo that maybe there was more going on with his family's death. It's like, oh, you surviving was miraculous, but it's like, yeah, but like a lot of things that might have been man-made, but he won't give Tayo the information because it turns out that he had actually, that Kuro Yuri had secretly kidnapped the deputy prime minister and he ends up escaping. Luckily, Tayo and the dryer, driver to the vehicle are okay, but then we learn from Sui, it's like, yeah, you were kind of not given the real information about everything, because Kuro Yuri seems like, oh, he's wild and crazy. Obviously, there was already kind of deeper levels to like him being a kooky villain, but it seemed like he there was more to him that, oh, he could seem kooky and crazy, but you learned that there are depths to him. Well, we learned there's even deeper depths, because the reason why he's as deadly as he is is because it turns out he used to be a spy. Uh, his name is uh, Kurogo, uh, Kurogo. And he was actually supposed to have died like five or six years ago, but that's what this whole thing was. They they basically used Tayo as bait, which is like, he was kind of upset by that, but I think it's just also like, there's two foe to it. Like one, the guy I'm, I'm in charge of, like got away. Plus like Sui's like, don't worry about it. We tracked him. Like this was all expected. You were just kind of, we kind of threw you to the wolves a little bit, but it's kind of like, right, you play the role you were given. But also Tayo's curious about everything Kuro Yuri said. It's like, what's your truth to that, you know? But it turns out Kuro Yuri wants to get some information from... Or he wants the deputy uh, prime minister to admit some stuff. Because it turns out... I, maybe I missed it. Like, he never expressly said, like, what uh, the deputy prime minister, like, really did to him. But I guess it's like, right, he was a contracted spy. So he did some stuff here and there. And I'm assuming, like... Because he made it clear, like, all the people he took down as Kuro Yuri is... Uh, people connected like he took down everyone that might have had any association with like his past like because why he like supposedly died is because they tried to take him out it's like it's understandable when you've done a job for a ton of people they want to close all loose loose ends and it's like despite you being good at what you're doing we don't want anything trailed back to us so it's better to take you out plus someone else could always use you against us so it's like right why not take advantage of your um your skill set and then uh deal with you ourselves uh he'd actually like live streamed all of this i i wasn't expecting like the fro and everything to be fake it's part of a disguise but it's also like i guess that's it's so interesting because like what the the association with that is there's a lot I'm, I'm stammering because there's so much to go over first and foremost i think it's so sad and tragic to find out the truth behind his name kuro yuri it's a culmination of his name and his daughter's his now deceased daughter's name it's like that's that's heartbreaking it's like he's kind of hiding in plain sight in a lot of ways it's like oh yeah i'm put on the front of like oh yeah i'm this kooky crazy politician but it's like i have no interest in politics this is all about get back this is about revenge which now you're also like oh you see why he's taking such an interest in tayo it's like we're why he told tayo what he did it's like yeah i i see kindredship in uh kinship with you in regards of i know what it's like to lose someone you care about and want you know answers and that's what this is all it's a lone plot for revenge he's been planning this for a long time but the reason why i was saying like the association with like how he acts with kudo yuri is because i guess he i don't know if he would regularly do that because that's not how he would always be around his daughter but it was his daughter's birthday at the time so um it kind of, it's not, it's a weird pull to kind of reference, but it, for whatever reason, I can't explain why. I think it's like the dead mom storyline. It definitely makes me feel like, it kind of reminds me of um, Zinkichi from um, Persona 5 uh, Strikers. It's not a one-to-one -one story. Like, their circumstances are different. Because it doesn't seem like his wife was murdered. She just died. That's all his daughter said. And like, not unless there was more to it, but there was definitely more to his daughter's death because they were trying to kill him and Yuri. And sadly, Yuri died. But like I said, like the association of this disguise he wore, like kind of like a clown, like get up for her party, I think. I think that's what that's it's almost like once again, I'm 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 up front 
you don't even realize I'm right here in front of you. For one, it's Kuro, um, Kuroga, like I'm here in front of you, but I'm also using the name that's a combination of my daughter's name and my name, plus I'm wearing a disguise that's kind of associated with my daughter. So it's like there's layers, layers upon layers upon layers that makes it kind of like so interesting, but also like it just adds to the tragedy of it. But um, Tayo wasn't just going to let Sui like, handle all of this on his own, so he ends up showing up because he wants to get answers. But the problem is that Kuroga is like very good at information gathering. He might not have the martial arts skills that a lot of other spies have, but his special ability is information. But that just makes you second rate if you just have information. Be able to properly utilize that is what makes him skilled at what he's done. That's always been his skill, is gathering information, but able to like perfectly utilize that information because information is useless if you don't know what to do with it so he's able to counter everything that Tayo has prepared because he knows about the Yosakuras enough to be prepared for anything Tayo throws his way it's sad too because like we had the opening to this episode well it's sad but it's also like a little cheeky and fun that we had the opening to the episode where we had the entire Yosakura family worried Nano is working on some kind of healing remedy that's like right if Tayo comes back banged up in fact like he's like a dead frog that got run over it's like yeah I have a potion to heal him up um Matsumi's like right I'm not worried about him I trust him but she's like I can't really do anything else but trust in him but I can also make a massive meal for him to eat up when he gets back you have Kingo working on like a, a a washable mask for him to wear in case his face gets all mangled it's like yeah we could just pretend like Tayo's okay um Xion is shutting stuff down online. It's like in pre pre -active, uh, preemptively going after any Yosukura haters who are going to jump on any opportunity to shit on them in case Tayo fails. But it's like, well, that's also kind of Xion just kind of doing that on her own. Shinzo is just kind of like panic mode and so scared that he's just like staying inside of his tin can and just shutting down. And I love that Mutsumi is like, literally everyone at home is just literally just kind of useless right now. But then you see Futaba and uh, Kishiro being okay. Futaba's like, nah, he'll, he'll pull through. Kishiro's like, honestly, the thought of him getting mangled and killed makes him this tea that much better. Like I said, uh, Kurogao was able to counter everything Tayo had prepared, but Tayo isn't willing to give up because it's like, right, we are kindred spirits. He's like, I understand the hate and pain you've gone through. Like, you kind of want to give up. He's like, I know because he lived a lot of his, he lived a good chunk of time like that. But for him, it's like, I'm not like that anymore. Like, I can't, like, there are certain things you can change because he's like, right, what happened to you can't be changed. But Tayo's like, I can change because I did. You know, I was so alone, I was drowning in my pain, but he luckily had Mitsumi by his side and that made all the difference. And that's the sad thing, Kuroga like had no one, you know? And it's like, it is that thing for Tayo, it's like, if our circumstances were different, I could have easily become you, I still could, but luckily I had the Yosakura family by my side, you know? Mitsumi being like the first and foremost in all of that. Uh, but luckily he doesn't have to go up against the trio who are back. I guess like them, like leaving was kind of part of the ploy too. Um, so they're back, the backup uh, Kurogao, but Sui shows up and takes them on himself, effortlessly beats them. I love the whole like there are different elements, fire, water, and lightning, different things like fire can bur obviously burn, water can slice through anything, and lightning is like, oh, I could fry like, uh, like any like data but also the human brain to kind of control someone but uh sui utilizes the was it walking on flowers uh movement uh what's that technique from i haven't watched bleach in so long it's that signature move shinigamis use like it's like a was it the flash step i believe that's what it's called like it's a it's how the shinigami like move like extremely fast it's a similar thing but he's like yeah it's meant to be like a technique you can just use this movement but when you combine it with like the um sword style that he has once again i feel bad because i am the trails fan that i am that like no matter what sword stuff i'm always going to be comparing it to like the eight leaves because i'm obsessed with that sword style because my favorite character uses it so but it's like it gave me like specifically uh it gave me kind of, um, oh god, Eight Leaves Fifth Form. If you've never played the Trails games in general, because it's not just a Reen thing, because even Reen doesn't fully, he only, he kind of somewhat uses it, but it's more of a, it's not as off, it's more counter defense than it is. It, it revolves around, like, kind of, like that 
because I think the fifth form is kind of based around that. Because I think doesn't Richard utilize that? I think his main thing is like the fifth form, if I'm not mistaken, and his, his some of his techniques like revolve around like sakura flowers and stuff. It just it kind of gave me the same feeling when he was like using a flower mode, even just like in a single stroke took all three of them down. But then someone showed up that kind of freaked even him out. He's like, "What is this presence?" So at the same time, this is all going down. Tayo. And I love in that moment, he utilizes, in in that moment, it wasn't just Kuroge going up against Tayo because Tayo was able to like catch him off guard because he's like, yeah, I'm prepared for everything you've got to throw my way, except he wasn't expecting Tayo to use the walking on flowers technique. And it's like, right, it, even like Kishiro was said to him like last episode, it's a scene we didn't get to see, but it's like, you don't have to like perfect it, just let your body remember. And he crossed paths with Sui so much in episode 7 over and over again that his body began to remember. So will he be able to fully utilize it? I mean, he probably did like a very sloppy version of it, but it was enough to give him an opening. And in that moment, he utilizes everything from the Yosakura family against him. Like, what was it? The, sl the, the data analysis from how his attack was going to come in from Shinzo. Like some protective skin by... Uh, from um, Shinzo, or was that from Kingo? I can't remember. He had like this anti-toxin um, that he had gotten from um, Nano using the wires from Kishiro. Just like I said, just and, and using like Futaba's like uh, jujitsu skills. So it's like once again just utilizing. It was like in that moment you, you were fighting the entire. Uh, Cause yeah, cause Shin, uh, the the skin was Kingo because the slime was Shinzo that blocked like the gun. So it's like it just once again it felt like he was fighting the entire uh, Yusukoto family in that one moment. And I, I love stuff like that where it's like oh it's like you're technically fighting more than one person in this moment. If it, it, it was kind of like that, I was reading something recently that kind of utilized a similar story beat in the final battle, so I just thought that was kind of neat. And he comes out on top. And just because he's so impressed by Tayo, he's like, right, as a reward, I will give you this. And gave him something that will lead him down the path of finding out what happened to his family. Because he admires Tayo. He's like, you never gave up. I'm what happened when you gave up. But you you never gave up. And that's so impressive. You didn't. You, you did submit to your anger and your pain. But it's like, right, you don't want to kill anybody. Like, you, you know, you want the truth about what happened to your family. But the fact of the matter is you just don't want there to be more death. But sadly, someone killed... Um, killed um, Kurogao, which the question then becomes like, well, they never killed him up until now, so either like his disguise worked and no one, it's not until he revealed himself to the world in that stream that put a target on his back, because like that happened pretty quickly, because it's probably... It's probably association with, what, well, he, he was already supposed to die regardless because of all that he's done. It's like, once again, he's a loose end, but especially like whatever information he knows about Tayo's family might have also been motivation for that death, but it might have been one of many things. It might not have just solely been about Tayo's family. Um, but whoever it was was a skilled assassin. Like I said, even that presence that Sui fell. Now, we're assuming it's all one person, but it could have been multiple people that were there. So that could have been like different. Like the present Sui felt was like could have been someone else different from the person who actually shot Kurogao. Kurogao. But another thought I had could have been like maybe they wanted all this to happen. Like they knew who Kuro Yuri really was and they let him cook all this time. It's like, no, we want you to do what you're going to do because you're going to destabilize things and that's going to benefit us. But now that you've gone as far as you need to, plus you're, you're too much of a loose end so we need to take you out. But maybe they wanted everything to happen the way it did. And now that you've served your purpose, now you can be removed from the board. So it's going to be interesting to find out why like did they let him cook this entire time on purpose or did he fool everyone else because it is a thing of like you don't have to just fool the eyes you have to fool the soul is what kuro yuri well um kuro Gao said so sui's um like point to tayo it's like right the fact is you're still alive that is a success like yeah like you know that that should be taken as a, a success for anything like your mission is accomplished you did what you needed to do but even like the prime minister was kind of upset to see things kind of play out the way they did for um 
Kuragao. So I'm, I'm curious to see what happens on the aftermath on that front, whether we, there's no way we're done with that. May, may, like, I don't know, like, whether we're going to get any more from the deputy prime minister on that front or not. That just kind of, that ends here for now or, or, or what? But uh, Tayo ends up making his way home and the entire family is waiting there for him. Um, that was after he followed, like, the note. It was a map that led to the tree where uh, Yuri was buried. He's like, yeah, like, I wanted her to be able to be near have a good view of like the beach that we would go to all the time. But also he had left something there for Tayo to know the truth. And it's probably like a breadcrumb that will lead to the truth about what happened to his family. So, but yeah, like at the same time that's happening for that scene to transition to him coming home for the entire family, like being excited and congratulating him, except for Kishiro being like, uh, oh, you know, kind of sour about him coming back alive. It's like, he has a very love hate relationship with Tayo. He definitely leans into the hate more, but there is still love and admiration because you are family, despite me being so okay with someone killing you because I can't kill you. Yeah, like I said, just a great episode. Leaning into the... I mean, once again, the show's kind of been fairly lighthearted up to this point in time in a, in a lot of ways. I mean, there's been some like dark elements, but I think this is probably like the darkest element in the show so far. I mean, once again, that's that's Shonen for you. Shonen will hit you with like, oh, it seems all fun and everything's fine. But then you get some dark stuff like, you know, there's plenty of Shonen that like, oh, we can lean into some dark stuff. We're going to tell some dark stories with all this fun and stuff. It's just that that. Just it just can very story beat the story beat type of situation. So I think this is kind of leaning into like the darker elements of the show because everything, even the darker stuff, was kind of like used very lightheartedly early on. But like I said, this is where the story most likely will get dark and darker. Like most, like I said, most shonen stuff does. So, but I'm excited to see where the next episode ultimately ends up taking us going forward with everything. But really, that's all I want to talk about. To the next time we meet, be happy. Be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.